Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Kakadash. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days. Great Millstone, also known as GMS. Salutations to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing his word of sincerity and the truth. And Shalom to the few sisters out there that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai. This is your brother, Ben Yum Yun from GMS, Mississippi, with an in transit topic um, at this particular moment. And I want to say the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for placing thy most holy spirit upon me to be able to continue to feed thine hopeful elect in hopes that all is done through edification. So the scripture for today is in the book of Isaiah chapter 26. This is uh, verse 3. It says, Thou will keep him, keep them in peace, whose mind is stayed upon thee. He that trusteth in thee. Because the things that go on in life, the things that go on in world, in the world, whether it's personal, whether it's public, whether it's on the scenes in front or it's behind the scenes, your peace will be disturbed. You know, there'll be particular things that happen and that occur that'll be detrimental to your physical self, your health, your spiritual mindset a lot of things that be affected you know whether it's a particular high whether or it's a particular low all things happen according to the plan that Yahweh Bashim and Shah has presented before us but the scriptures also say suffer ye as an evildoer so the suffering that we incur sometimes it comes through your particular lot and sometimes it comes through your particular actions but you want to pray to Yahweh Hashim Shad that your peace may still remain, that your joy may still be rested upon him. Because things are going to happen. You know, and the transgressions of, of the world lay heavily upon the spiritual man. But at the end of the day, and at the beginning of it, it's Yahweh Bashim Shad who remains faithful in hopes that through all things you remain in the truth you remain in the spirit that you remain heavily rested upon your howbashim howshah because all your trust all your cares cares all your worries all your woes all those things have to be handed off because there's nothing that you can physically do besides continue to fast continue to pray be remorseful be repentful have a contrite spirit, a contrite mind, and be humble and be lowly, you know? And it really just boils down to giving up. And what I mean by giving up is that you surrender your all. That's the only way that you can have peace. That's the only way that you can subside in your how about shim, how shah. Because when you allow your ego to get into the way, when you allow your pride to get into the way, when you allow you to get in your own way then now you're a hazard to your own health you're a hazard to your own spiritual spiritual health as well you know so that's why the scriptures go into trusting in in your how about shame how shy trust ye in the lord you know for he is your rest he is your pillar that's why those names are very important because the scripture says that the righteous runneth into it and are safe but whether it's your peace, whether it's chaos, you just got to fall back and sit back and reflect. Okay, what is the Lord showing me? Showing me? What is the Lord doing for me? You know, what's going on right now? Are you able to explain it? Are you able to route it back to a particular cause? Have you done everything that you could possibly do to improve that situation? Have you done everything that you possibly could to be your best self at that particular moment in time? If the answer is no, then you need to do more self-examining, -ex you know, because you're not perfect. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make hiccups. You're going to fall. You're going to, you know, feel like, man, I'm not worthy. But that comes with it, because once you get into that particular lowest, lowest state and your peace has been disturbed. Now, what are you going to do about it? Now, your character is being tested. Now, you as an individual, a spiritual man, a spiritual woman is being engaged. So how are you going to balance yourself in that particular scale? According to the measure, 
according to the rod of correction that Yahweh Bashim and Shah has presented before us. You know, so. But, you know, most I willing, the point was made because you read in the book of Psalms, the 50, 51st chapter, the Lord was going into, well, the King David was praying on the Heavenly Father not taking his Holy Spirit away from him. You want to examine yourself uh, whether thou be in the faith, whether I be in the truth. You want to do that continuously that you may walk in the spirit. You know, because you walk in the spirit that helps eliminate you suffering from things in the flesh. So that carnal mind is enmity with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So therefore that unjust weight is an abomination unto him. So you got to be perfectly balanced in spirit and in truth. Hey, so until next time, I just want to give all praises, glory and honor to you, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and Lord willing, the edification was made unto the listeners. Until next time, I say Shalom.